Hello everyone and welcome back to my journey to gathering every Trackmania Track of the Day author medal. Starting us out in volume 16 today and for my 440th author medal, we have the track Kokomo Island Raceway which was made by Stuntman and this was the Track of the Day on October 12th of 2021. Kokomo Island Raceway is a NASCAR track that over 900 players have also achieved the author medal on. It took me 7 minutes to get this one and I finished with my time of 59.428. So while this is probably not your typical NASCAR track because it does contain a couple of drifts which I do believe are kind of unintended to be on the track, uh, but they are indeed going to be faster drifting some of the corners here, uh, but a large majority of them are going to be the releases. As for NASCAR as a style in general, I typically don't find it to be all that much fun. In fact, probably one of the most boring styles in the game. Uh, but that's just personal preference. If you enjoy it, so be it. Just kind of not for me. I do believe this track is made a little bit more enjoyable by those couple of drifts the track has. And kind of just the overall slower vibe of the track in general. As you're kind of around 400 to 450 speed for the large majority of it. Instead of a typical NASCAR like 500 to 550. My 441st author medal came on the track Palm Run, which was made by SAGS, and it was the track of the day on August 14th of 2021. Palm Run is a grass and tech track, and over 900 players have achieved this one as well, though this one took me double the time of the last one, coming in at 14 minutes, and my time was a 39.116. I found this one to be quite an enjoyable drive and a little bit on the tricky side as well. Uh, but yeah, this was my favorite from today's episode. And if you do want to play this one or any other track found in today's video, you can find the links in the description or you can find them in my in-game club called Club 2D. But yeah, very enjoyable track. My 442nd author medal came on the track of Redwood NASCAR, which was made by Priez, and this was the track of the day on November 5th of 2020. Like the name would suggest here, this is yet another NASCAR track, and over 2,500 players have achieved this one, uh, so it's on the easier side, one of the easiest from today's video as well. Uh, it took me just two minutes to get this one, so only two attempts taken, and I finished with a time of 1 minute and 18.496 seconds. There's not a lot to say about this track in all honesty, uh, like I said about the first track in this video, I don't really care for NASCAR all that much, and then you add the length of this track onto that, being almost a minute and 20 seconds long. If you know me and have been watching this series, you know I don't typically care for the super long tracks, and anything over a minute long is kind of pushing it for me in the track length department. Uh, so yeah, this is a perfectly fine track for what it is, it's certainly not bad, uh, but it's not something that I really enjoy enjoy all that much. My 443rd author medal came on the track Kaleidoscope, which was made by Mimic, and this was the track of the day on November 21st of 2020. Kaleidoscope is a speed fun track that over 2100 players have the author medal on, so another one on the easier side here. It took me 10 minutes to get it though, and I finished with my time of 1 minute and 5.115 seconds. So we have another track here that is over a minute long, and like I said on the last track, I don't particularly care for the longer ones, and this track in general was kind of just all over the place. There were some parts that were enjoyable and worked well, and other parts that did not work all that well, and it resulted in the track kind of just being a mixed bag and feeling like an okay track. My 444th author medal came on the track Towers of Krios, which was made by Jakob, and this was the track of the day on June 4th of 2024. Towers of Krios is a bobsleigh track that over 1100 players have achieved the author medal on. It took me 13 minutes to get it, and I finished with my time of 46.691. 
I didn't particularly enjoy this track, and there's a few reasons for it. You know, first of all, we got Bobsleigh, which in general, uh, I could take or leave. I don't really care for it one way or the other. And kind of the max rating I even give Bobsleigh tracks is a plus, unless there's something exceptionally good about it, which in my opinion, this track is not exceptionally good or even close to it. Uh, I did not like the second Bobsleigh part of this one whatsoever. Uh, it was kind of a disaster and felt pretty terrible to drive. My 445th author medal came on the track Carmen, which was made by Link, and this was the track of the day on June 2nd of 2024. Carmen is a tech and plastic track that over 1,000 players have the author medal on. This one took me 12 minutes to get, and I finished with a time of 45.118. So a bit unfortunate that this track does have the cut near the start of it uh, because it's a very enjoyable track and even with the cut it's still pretty enjoyable uh, but I probably would have given this one a plus plus without that cut uh, but I did knock my rating down to a plus uh, but again like I said this was still a very enjoyable track and maybe we did get a little bit lucky with the cut uh, because the author medal here would have been much more challenging. My 446 author medal came on the track Desolate Dirt, which was made by Butello Morello, and this was the track of the day on April 18th of 2021. Desolate Dirt is, of course, a dirt track, and over 1,800 players have achieved this one as well, so a bit on the easier side here. It took me just five minutes to get this one, and I finished with a time of 35.638. There's honestly not a whole lot to say about this track. Uh, the majority of it is going to be full speed with very minor turns, and there's only one section that isn't, and that is a small outside dirt section, which you need to hit a little bit of, and if you do, you'll probably get the author. My 447th author medal came on the track Botanica, which was made by Jabski, and this was the track of the day on June 6th of 2024. Botanica is a speed fun track that over 1,000 players also have the author medal on. It took me 19 minutes to get this one, finishing with my time of 44.348. This was an enjoyable track for what it was, but there are a lot of larger sections of this one which are kind of just straighter lines or, you know, just long single-handed turns, you know, which is fine. It just isn't the most exciting thing in the world. You know, there are some outside dirt lines that you kind of need to get for the author medal here, and they can be a little bit tricky. Uh, so the track is fine for what it is. It's enjoyable, but maybe not the most exciting. My 448th author medal came on the track Polymer Playground, which was made by Asliet, and this was the track of the day on November 16th of 2022. Polymer Playground is a tech and a plastic track that about 700 players have the author medal on, and in my opinion, this is going to be the hardest one from today's video. It took me 26 minutes to get it, and I finished with a time of 40.526. I played this track back when it first released and I kind of enjoyed it then and I still kind of enjoy it now but the middle section of this track with the large jump uh, just completely kind of ruins the overall flow of the track as it's so easy to have way too much speed during that section and the jump is also completely blind. Uh, just not a good section and again kind of ruins the track. My 449th and final author medal in today's video came on the track Palm Beach Raceway, which was made by Stoops Keisel, and this was the track of the day on March 3rd of 2021. Palm Beach Raceway is a speed fun track that over 2,900 players have the author medal on, and in my opinion, is the easiest one from today's video, though it was not the fastest one I got from today's video, taking me 3 minutes, and I finished with a time of 39.765. This was kind of just an all right track, I guess. You know, the lines and, you know, kind of the overall flow was just all over the place. Full speed sections, drifting sections, NASCAR sections, uh, super weird angle jumps and everything. Uh, it was really kind of just all over the place. But with that, we will conclude volume number 16 here today. Of course, again, if you're interested in driving any of the tracks, you can find links to them in the description and they'll be up in my in-game club called Club 2D. I'd also like to inform you that this series is going to go on a two-week hiatus and return on July 7th. But if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to like it and subscribe so you don't miss out on any in the future. Thank you all so much for watching, and again, I will see you guys on July 7th for Volume 17.